Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be going over easily one of the most effective bodyweight exercises to develop strong and massive biceps, the ring bicep curl. The ring bicep curl is an isolation bodyweight exercise, meaning we are solely targeting the biceps with this exercise. Now, although this video addresses bicep curls on rings, it can be performed with a bar as well. Using rings to train the bodyweight bicep curl, in my opinion, is going to be more effective as it's easier to manipulate the intensity and will most likely feel a lot more comfortable when executing them. They are great to add towards the end of a workout where you can finish with a solid pump after performing tougher compound exercises and really fatigue the biceps to force some growth. They can even be useful in terms of prehab to help strengthen surrounding structures of the elbow joint, reducing risk of injuries in the area. If your biceps are a limiting factor in your training from neglecting them, that could lead to an imbalance, which could potentially lead to an injury. So implementing ring bicep curls at the end of your workout can be beneficial in multiple manners. For ring placement, we ideally want the rings around hip height. When it comes to our form, we want to start with our arms straight and perpendicular to our body. We also want to make sure our hips are extended at all times, which will help provide global tension, helping us maintain solid form with each rep. During the concentric or ascending phase, curl your fists towards your face, maintaining extended hips and flex shoulders, squeezing the biceps at peak contraction. During the eccentric or descending portion, make sure you are controlling yourself on the way down without losing tension to avoid dropping rapidly into locked out arms. It's also worth noting that during the ring bicep curl, you want the rings to glide through your hands rather than squeezing them really tight. Reason being is because when we allow the ring to glide within our hands, it allows us to get into that flexed shoulder position with ease. Now there are a few mistakes you definitely want to avoid when performing these. One is losing the flexed shoulder position at the top of the ring bicep curl. Remember, at the top we want our shoulders to be flexed, keeping our arms at that perpendicular angle to our body. If our arms become parallel to our body at the top of the movement during each rep, we are simply performing a row, which defeats the purpose of the ring bicep curl, which is to isolate the biceps. Another mistake is allowing your hips to drop. If we lose that tension from our lower body, we lose global tension, which can lead to improper form and sloppy execution. So make sure to keep your hips extended throughout the entire movement. For the progressions, it all comes down to body placement in relation to the anchor point. The further away we are from the anchor point, the easier the ring bicep curl becomes. The closer we are to the anchor point, the harder it becomes. So quick tip for beginners, you are far better off training these at a lower intensity, or rather further from the anchor point, as this will help ensure that you gradually strengthen the biceps, and if your goal is to gain size, definitely stick to a lower intensity as you'll be able to accumulate more reps for hypertrophy purposes and maintain good form. As you become stronger and continue to grow, move closer towards the anchor point. Also, you can perform single arm variations, which is great for unilateral training and fixing any imbalances between each arm. So we have far from anchor point, close to anchor point, under anchor point with knees bent, under anchor point with legs straight, and if you're an absolute beast, under anchor point with legs elevated. That's my video on the ring bicep curls. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and click that subscribe button down below for more content in the future. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I'll look forward to answering them. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the process.